Three, two, one. Welcome to Antimatters. Hello everyone, welcome to ANN News, episode 9. We got plenty of news and topics today. As usual, new videos, channel shoutouts and weatherman. <laughs> we'll also delve into responsible keeping. First things first, new videos. There's a mighty buffet for all this week. Thank you everyone for making all this great content. As always, all the links will be below. Anne England had her tweezers full this week after she fed a large adult female cockroach to her metabarbarus. Unfortunately, the female may have been pregnant. Well, she was because there were little baby roaches running around the tank. And um, yeah, it's a bit savage, but what can you do? But yeah, check out uh, her video for all the juicy gossip. <laughs> Soren's Campanotus floridanus have been steadily growing and now need an outworld. It's really great to watch them growing and I hope to keep up to date on their journey. Much like last week, Basic Ants has made a real great video about pheromones this week. It has great clear graphics to visualise how ants see the world. Unlike us, ants smell the world mostly. It seems to work great for them though. On to a tragedy. PJ Ants was greeted by a dead Harpignathos Veneta colony a couple weeks ago, I believe, after some wild Lassius niger got into his colony and completely killed them all. Lassius niger savage little cretins when they want to be. It's not the first time I've heard of them wreaking havoc as well. They're little rascals. Campo Nico made a usual beautiful HD masterpiece on his Campanotus Sanctus this week as well. They are beautiful almost translucent yellow ants and I definitely go and have a look at them. They're really pretty. El Mundo de la Amigas, El Mundo de la Amigas has been busy from what I could tell as well. I think he's trying to hybrid a Mesobarbarous princess with a Campanotus rufoglaucus male. Personally, I'd start with the same genus, but I wish him all the best in his experiments because this is right up my street. And a lot of papers recently have been talking about how a lot of hybridization is actually possible. So Bakersfield Ants California, I believe it's got CA, caught a very special gynomorph on camera as well this week. Gynomorphs are when the sides of an ant normally get mixed up. One side might be a male elate, the other side might be a princess. There's also a rarer case of one side being a worker and one side being an elate. And that's what he managed to capture in his video this week. It's really amazing to see as I've never seen it myself. Stateside Ant's Dungeon has had three fatalities as well. Check out his video to find out what species is sad news though. Also, the other side of the pond, Ant Sant has been very busy. He made three Antonym Wisconsin videos this week concerning his hunt for nuptials. It was really cool watching his mission proceed. And yeah, I think he managed to get some in the end. It looks quite good. He got some queens anyway. But yeah. It was really good following along with that. Ant Sant is pretty much a regular now, so let's hit up some more of the regulars on the show. Antscapes used his Midas touch to turn a tank into a polyrachis paradise. I swear everything Ryan touches turns lush and green. Ant's ramblings has had a boom and a bust as well. The Irritans Queen and Maculatus have both died. 
The other colonies, however, are looking really good. Hopefully, they keep on heading that way. Over at Aesthetic Ants, he's raised a topic that is most likely applicable to you. Well, too, really. He made a nice video on the antimatter for Miss Fountains. He now stocks. They're definitely worth a look. He also raised a valid concern about invasive ants and keeping them. As ant keepers, we're a big risk and I urge everyone to watch his video and be a responsible keeper before ant keeping gets banned. What is a responsible keeper, you ask then? After discussion, it basically boiled down to don't get ants that will overwhelm you, be willing to kill escaped ants quickly, be prepared for fast growth, and be extra careful with exotic ants. There was also lots more, but we'll let people find them on their own. And there's plenty of videos out there that can help you be a responsible keeper. New ants time anyway. There are none, unfortunately, this week. There are 52 weeks in a year, so yeah, it's not much of a surprise that there's not new ants every week. Instead of new ants though, we got plenty of guides. Bruma Ants made a wonderful guide for Formica Cinera. I hope I pronounced that right. City Ants also made a guide for breeding springtails for food. Springtails are a very good food source for a lot of ants, especially small ones. I know my Carabara diversa in the background. They love eating all their springtails. <laughs> Hence there are none left. I've resupplied them about three or four times now. <laughs> Channel Achievements, Bloodwin 005 has hit 500 subscribers. Congratulations. And Campo Nico has hit 1,000 subscribers. Great times, both of you. Congratulations. Time to go see the weatherman that has basically stolen all the visual effects budget and hogged it all for himself. Oh, I hate the weatherman. 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 Weatherman here. So this week it's going to be cold from top to bottom. You should probably put your ants in a nice warm place. I think it's a bit early to put them into hibernation, although some of them might have already started sleeping. I know my lassie is now have. Anyway, I'll stop waffling on. Back to the studio. Thanks, Weatherman. Thank you all for watching ANN News. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Weatherman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weatherman. Weatherman. Weatherman.